Hi everyone, I'm Dali Tavanesian and today I would like to show you how to create a simple to-do application with the help of Node.js and jQuery. So my application consists of an HTML file which contains all the UI components uh, and a JS file uh, in client side which contains all the jQuery elements and also CSS file which contains all the styling information of index.html. Uh, of course I downloaded jQuery and uh, there is a server uh, site code which is called server.js and it contains all the functionality of the code. So here is my index.html and as you can see it's a very simple HTML file that contains some inputs for adding the to-do and some inputs for adding a search and the other components are added dynamically via jQuery and I will show that inside my main.js. So in main.js there are some functionalities which are performed according to what is done by the user. So I'm adding a click function to my add to do button and whenever I'm clicking on add to do I'm taking the text of my to do input and send it as a post request to the server side and in a callback I'm appending the result to the to do list and after that I'm adding some click handlers into my buttons which are going to be added alongside each to do item so the same is happening for the search button click but actually this time I'm calling the get method with the API search to do's and passing the text that I want to search and then I'm adding the result to the UL but of course at first I have to remove all the to do's from my HTML and then add them to the page so when the page is refreshed I have to go and get all the to do's and append them to my UL so this is the part. This is the jQuery get method and I'm calling get to do's API and then I'm adding the result by this method. In add to do's to page I'm looping over each element which is a JSON object and contains all the to do's which I have either searched for or I'm getting completely. So after having each to do I'm appending that to do into my UL list. How I'm doing that? I'm calling the jQuery and appending every li to the ul. While creating um, this HTML by a text, I'm adding to do id for every li, and inside each li, I'm having a circle with a check mark and an empty circle, also a delete button, and the title of the to do. So all of these buttons are modification buttons mm, which will be for deleting a to-do or toggling its checked state. So in here I'm adding check click action for each of the circle buttons uh, because if the empty circle button is clicked it means that the user is about to check the to-do or if uh, the checked circle button is clicked it means that the user is about to uncheck the to-do so I'm using the put method because I want to modify a state and here is the API modify to-do also I'm sending the ID of the to-do that I want to modify and as well as uh, the future state uh, that I want to pass so the same goes on for the delete action and now let's have a look on server.js in server.js, um, all the to-dos are kept in an array, so when the server starts, uh, at first there's nothing to show. And of course there are uh, static pages to be displayed to the user, which is the index.html, jQuery, main CSS, main JS, and this is how it can be done. Uh, so we have uh, different types of requests and I'm checking if the request method is uh, get, post, delete or put uh, and in each of them I'm adding APIs which belong to the certain type. 
So now I'm going to show you a little demo. My application is running and I'm calling local host 3001 port and I modified my server side code such that whenever it is an empty slash without index.html it will automatically render index.html. Here it is and I'm going to say call home, call friend for example, uh, do homework, go to the shopping. So if I want to search for a call, now you can see that these two are there. And uh, I can easily check or uncheck something. And if I refresh the page, you can see that the state is preserved. And if I want to delete something, I simply press the delete button. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks very much for watching.